Hey friends, welcome. Today we are going to discuss number of Frankel defects. Now, in case of Frankel defect, as you can see in the image, uh, we have taken the example of a silver chloride crystal and Frankel defect basically arises when a, any cation or when a cation of a crystal, it leaves its position and sit in the any interstitial space in the crystal basically we know that cations are smaller as compared to anions and this cations because of its small size can sit in the interstitial space very easily so as you can see in the figure we are having the gray dots are our cations and the green dots are our anions and so silver cation will sit in any of interstitial space and the defect that is produced is known as Frankel defect. Now the number of Frankel defects we need to calculate will also move on the same ground as we have seen in case of our Schottky defect. So suppose if we are considering that we have any crystal which is made up of n number of ions and suppose there are ni number of the interstitial species available in the structure and suppose we have small n amount of Frankel defects are created then the total thermodynamic probability w of getting the frankel defects or getting the arrangement of the frankel defects is given by we are having total n number of ions so we will have to permeate this n number of ions also we are having ni number of the interstitial species so this interstitial species also needs to be permuted so the total thermodynamic probability w it will be given by we will having n factorial upon n minus n factorial upon capital n sorry small n factorial so this is the our permutation of the total number of ions into we need to permutate the total number of interstitial spaces also so we will having ni factorial upon ni minus n factorial into small n factorial so this will be our thermodynamic probability of uh, the distribution of n number of Frankel defects having n number of ions and ni number of interstitial species, uh, species again we know the change in the entropy delta s can be written as kln w so this value of w uh, we need to substitute over here so we'll have k ln of will have n factorial upon n minus n factorial into small n factorial into ni factorial upon ni minus n factorial into n factorial now further we will just simplify this particular relationship and we will apply Stirling's approximation also. So first we will just simplify this particular relationship and hence uh, we can write k ln of n factorial plus ln of ni factorial minus ln of n minus n factorial minus ln of uh, I can write ni minus n factorial this term minus now this will become minus ln of n factorial and minus ln of n factorial so that I can write it as 2 ln of n factorial okay now further we will apply Stirling's approximation formula to this particular relationship and hence we will have k into n ln n minus n plus n i ln n i minus n i minus we will have n minus n ln n minus small n plus n minus n minus n i minus n ln of n i minus n plus n i minus small n sorry this is small n minus 2 n ln n plus 2n so this will be our terms and further minus n and plus n will be cancelled out minus ni plus ni will be cancelled out and minus n minus n plus 2n this terms will be cancelled out and the remaining term terms we can write it as delta s is equal to k 
we will have n ln n plus n i ln n i minus n minus n ln n minus n minus n i minus n ln n i minus n minus 2 n ln n so this will be our relationship suppose if we consider that delta h is the enthalpy change for creation or for the formation of one Frankel defect then total enthalpy of formation of n Frankel defects we can write it as n delta h and again the change in the free energy delta g we can write it as n delta h minus t delta s so we know the value of delta s so we can substitute over here so our relationship will become delta g is equal to n delta h minus t into k into n ln of n plus uh, i can write it as this suppose equation 1 so dot 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 minus 2 n ln n so this will be the same relationship over here uh, i have not uh, written it whole in order to uh, save the time so this will be our relationship further we know that at equilibrium the change in the free energy with respect to the number of defects is zero that is uh, the at equilibrium the change in free energy will be zero and hence we can write d delta g upon dn is zero at equilibrium and hence this will be equal to we will have delta h minus t into k and again we need to differentiate this particular relationship now in this particular relationship the first and the second terms are constant okay because uh, for a definite number of or for a specific crystal that we are taking the total number of ions are fixed and their interstitial spaces are also fixed so both these terms are fixed and hence the differential will be zero and we need to differentiate only last three terms of the relationship and the differentiation of the last three terms of the relationship will come out can write directly ln n minus n plus one minus or plus we will have ln ni minus n plus one minus we will have two ln of n minus 2 so this will be the solution of differentiation and this will be equal to 0 so this both these terms will be cancelled out and ln 2 i can write it as ln square and hence uh, we can solve this relationship and hence we will have delta h minus c into k we will have ln of n minus n into ni minus n upon n square and this is equal to 0 so this will be our relationship further as we know that total number or n is very very small as compared to n and as compared to ni okay because again as same as we have seen in case of Schottky defect the total number of Frankel defect is very very less than the total number of the ions as well as the interstitial species that are present in the crystal and hence the terms that is ni minus n i can write it as capital n and ni minus n i can write it as ni because these values are or this value is very very small as compared to both these values and hence the, the value or the difference will be very very less and hence they can be approximately taken equal to this terms so we will have uh, delta h minus tk i can write ln n into ni upon n square and that is equal to 0 i can take n square common so this term i can write it as under root so we will have delta h minus tk into ln of i can write under root of n n i upon n and this will become square and that is equal to 0 so this will be our value further we will just simplify this particular relationship and hence we will have delta or hence i can directly write i can take this term on right hand side and again uh, this two i can take it 
front so we will have ln of under root of n n i upon n will be equal to delta h upon 2 k t further in order to remove ln we can take nt log so we, we will have n upon n i or under root upon n that is equal to e raised to delta h upon 2 k t and further we want the number of Frankel defects so we can just interchange or we can just take the reciprocal so we will have n upon under root of n n i that is equal to e raised to minus delta h upon 2 k t or I can write n is equal to n n i raised to 1 by 2 e raised to minus delta h upon 2 k t so this is our final representation of number of Frankel defects or final representation to calculate the number of Frankel defects in a crystal having n number of ions and ni amount of interstitial species hope the topic was clear thank you very much